now it's time to take you on a zip trip. Each Friday, we're visiting a local town to show you what is special about it. From the history to the food, the fun, it's all reasons that you need to take a local trip to, to the town. And this week, we are in Spartanburg. Let's check in now with Fred Cunningham. He's joining us now to kick things off with a few of our friends, our local heroes. That is right, Sabila. You know, when we talk to firefighters on these zip trips, we hear the same thing at every station. It's all about teamwork. It's all about being a family. Well, for one station in Spartanburg, it's really the real thing. This is First Responder Friday. This is the South Side Station. It's officially Spartanburg Station 2, as in together. I'm with these guys every third day for 24 hours. The more things we do out from work, the better we work at work together. You'll find these four firefighters away from the station a lot in those 48 hours between shifts. We went fishing up northern South Carolina a month or two ago. We try to go out, go, we go shopping and stuff together. We go out to eat. Break it. See how they get two different colors? Mm -hmm. You want to mesh it together until then two colors are fine. And that's true with the team's newest member. Jenna Burke was once a sheriff's deputy in Kentucky, out on patrol on her own. Now she's part of a team and spends lots of time with these guys. I don't feel like I'm at work with them. Um, I already feel like I can trust them with my life, and you're supposed to feel that way when you're on the job, you know, at a call. But I could talk to them about outside things, personal things, and I know that it'll stay between us four. But make no mistake, for each of these firefighters, their real priority is their own families. My wife, she's she's all for me doing, hanging out with these guys, uh, getting to know these guys, because it could matter one day that my life could be put on the line with these guys, and she wants to know that, that I'll be taken care of. That's training together and spending time bonding out of work together to hopefully make sure they go back to their homes safe. And we're lucky. Here we go. Now that was the crew at Station 2. Right now we are joined by Jared Van Eck. He's from Northside Engine Company 63. They're about an hour away from wrapping up their shift. And first of all, thanks for being with us. And what's it been like for you and this crew to be working in these just ridiculously hot temperatures? Well, thanks. It's great to be here. And uh, we learned to condition ourselves so that we can deal with it. And, you know, being in South Carolina, summertime. This is what you get. I can tell you're all in great shape. Let me ask you just about training. We talk about teamwork that comes with being a firefighter. Football teams, basketball teams, they practice, they train. They have off seasons. You have no off seasons. No, <clears throat> no, we're going 365 days a year. Um, conditioning, training is one of the most important things that we do because as firefighters, we never know when that emergency or that situation is going to happen. So we need to be ready at any given time. We appreciate you being here. Tell me a little bit and introduce me to some of the team that's back behind us. Sure. So uh, this morning we have Spencer Merck. He is our driver engineer. Uh, firefighter Sizlow is one of our newest firefighters, graduated the academy in April. And we have a, our relief driver, James Dodder. He moves up to drive if our engineer is off for the day. And then firefighter Chenoweth, who has recently completed one year of service with our fire department. That is great. We talked about with Station 2 just the teamwork that it comes and how they really bond. And bonding means so much, especially when you can get into these potentially dangerous situations. Yes, we are absolutely a family. Um, the things that we go through on a daily basis just creates that, that strong bond. And, and we lean on each other for support. And that's what helps, you know, get us through, you know, the day, the week, and then the 28-year career that we have. All right. Well, you've got about an hour to go before your shift ends. I hope it's a nice and very calm 60 minutes or so. We appreciate that. Jared, thanks for being with us. First Responder Friday, just uh, always, this is my favorite portion of this show. I love the entire you know, zip trip, but this is always my favorite part. Sabila? Absolutely. It's great to honor them and thank them for their service. Thanks, Fred. All right. Let's